Okay, so this is my, my build. It's kind of like a truck. And I built it as a model and to have a lot of ground clearance. See, there is a lot of ground clearance. I got that much ground. So first I built the drivetrain and it's pretty simple. It's just rear wheel drive. But I had the gear rings to gear it down over here. So that way there's a lot of ground clearance. Here's the motor. This time I built a much sturdier chassis than my, most of my other builds. So it's a lot sturdier. And, like, and it looks a lot better. Uh, except for the top. The top piece always falls off. And that's kind of annoying. Yeah, because it's really poorly connected. I just straight up used a plate there to connect this beam like that. There's a single cylinder that you can manually spin from down here. It's kind of sad, but like it just had something to fill in the space. I almost ran out of light pieces while making this build because I don't have a lot of them. Uh, so here's the steering motor. It's right there and there's the drive motor. It's a really compact build. Like here's my hand for scale. And you can see the hub for scale. It's right there. It's just stuffed into the roof. And it's like really compact. Um, the drive train is really sturdy. And I had to do some fancy things to make sure the front steering was good and also being really compact like it was pretty hard you can see there's you can see the gear you can see the bevel gear and then there's the double bevel in, inside way inside there and that's just directly connected like i had to use this the clothes hanger piece right there to keep it stable through a bunch of complicated connections and this front part's also really flimsy I just needed to fill in this place and I already ran out of white bricks at that point so yeah mm -hmm. I tried to make it look pretty good the front mud guard is like really big because of this space the wheel needs to move and yeah and it also has a quite a bit of backlash so wheel can turn a lot and the back wheels also have a quite a bit of backlash because of how many gears there are but it actually drives really fast because of how small and light it is and sturdy and also the cool thing about this is that you can take off the wheel and separate this piece and then you can easily change out the gears and have a different gearing like you can have an 8 tooth gear and a 24 tooth over you know and a 24 tooth over here to have a torque gearing you can have a 12 tooth bevel and a 24 tooth bevel or like or like yeah and then you can have a 24 tooth and then an eight tooth and then you have lots of speed but also a bit of lots of backlash yeah, and it's pretty neat you can easily change out the gear rings and then all you gotta do is put that piece back put this piece back and then put the wheel back on i might make another reverse video tutorial on this Like, maybe tomorrow? Yeah, and it's about it. There's a, not much room because in the back because you need to fit the motor for the steering. And you also got, there's like this bar in the front. It's kind of finished and all. 
there's yeah I had to use a bunch of complicated connections because it was pretty hard because I'm not that good at designing models yeah and I used all like there's like two frame pieces stacked underneath each other or stuck on top of each other in there and that's how I got this beam connected because there's a frame piece there and one under it and I also got it had to be really compact I don't think it looked it looks that good but it's pretty good Hey, what you doing? Aww. Aww. Okay. That's it. Bye.